Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 23 October. Checking out the NASDAQ here. We got our uh, breakthrough 11,600 yesterday. We got a quick 100 points. The low was, I think, 08. Yeah, 07.5. Uh, but look, 11,666. We're, we're 160 points higher. That is not bearish for those of you uh, scoring at home. Um, that's probably bullish. So no point in being short Nazi anymore. Um, you know, it did what we asked it to do. It accelerated through that level, went a lot lower. And now, you know, your stop is break even or whatever, wherever you stopped out at the, at the break point or whatever, it's fine. Now we just have to move on, right? Um, I'm not exactly super bullish NASDAQ, but there's no reason to be bearish either. Um, I would be bearish if we closed down at 11,600, I mean 11,500, but we didn't, so now we move on. This is bearish, ZB, I've been talking about this guy for a while now, um, through this trend line, I think TYX is the, uh, this is the yield. 166. We're seeing a lot of sixes, six, triple sixes this morning. That's kind of fun. Uh, we're off to 176. We got another 10 basis points to reach this sort of double top. Looks pretty robust. Um, higher yields, lower price. This is the big blue wave trade uh, or the big stimulus trade um, intact. So ZB at 172, you can sell this between 172.20 and 173 today. Um, ZB is looking pretty negative. Gold got hammered, um, but then kind of held. The crazy town point in gold on the downside is 80. We all remember uh, on the way back up, we were like 80s the pivot, 80s the pivot. We did get down to 77 for a millisecond um, so right now we're just in consolidation top side it's 1940 downside is 1880 in the middle here you just have to play play around in the ranges if uh, that's your game and you know how to do that um, we like buying this through 1940 looks pretty interesting euro now Looks like this market's going to get caught a little long. We had the big flows, higher euro. Um, and now, yesterday, the buying dried out. Now today, we've made a lower high down to 1786. Um, this gets real twitchy through 1730, and then obviously 1688. Um, so here we do nothing, uh, but it looks like these guys might get caught. Euro yen, same thing. This is a better technical picture, right? Because you have 125 double top. You have a neckline at 123. We do have European PMIs out today. This could move euro. I really uh, have a hard time seeing how those PMIs could be positive today. Uh, so we could get a bit of a downdraft here. We've already had this euro yen. Um, zipper here from 124. That looks like it was news driven. I'm not even sure what the news was. Um, anyway, Euro and Euro Yen look like they're heading left. Aussie Yen was a real ball kick yesterday. I really thought this thing was going to zip through 74.20 and 74 the figure as stocks were cratering, but it just held like a rock. Um, and then last night it looks like it stopped out a bunch of people up at 86. Uh, so we'll see. 74.20 and 74, the figure, are kind of bingo numbers. Uh, maybe it's some RBA talk about negative rates. Maybe it's uh, risk off. I don't know. Uh, but this one, this one tricked me yesterday. Thought we were going to head lower, but we just didn't, right? Look at that. 
Ooh -wee. That caused some pain around around the uh, Forex community. This is for sure. One of our Twitter guys yesterday was saying dollar China is leading. I don't. I don't uh, discount that. Um, but I'm just bringing this up because 668.50 now brings this back into uh, what we would call the long-term range. Now it's a pivot. It was obviously 68. The figure was kind of the low here. But now we have one, two, three, four, five highs at 68.50. So just keep an eye on that. This is part of the puzzle. Uh, if this thing gets up through 668.50, should put some downward pressure on euro. What else is out there? Let's look at Bitcoin. She's just slowly creeping higher, um, like the tech stock that she is. Um, not a lot to do here. Uh, we're still in sort of dollar cost average mode. Buy a little Bitcoin on Mondays. Um, I think this is going to get to 20,000 maybe. Um, in the coming months, maybe touch that all-time high. I think it was 19,000. What was it up there? Yeah, 19, and then 19. 19. Um, but once we once we clear 13.9, which was like sort of the the 2019 high, um, we have some room to head up. Weirdly, uh, according to the uh, CME data, hedge funds are short Bitcoin. Um, doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but what does make sense is um, there'll be pain higher, so there'll be stops. Sort of, these guys will have to, you know, kill this kill this trade at fourteen thousand. So keep an eye on this. <clears throat> Looks like she's just slowly grinding higher. Aussie dollar just in the range, uh, waiting for the next shoe to drop. Not much to do there. Uh, Euro Aussie hit support, right? This is also surprising to me. I really thought this was going to shoot up to sort of 180. It still might. Um, but Euro Aussie basically stopped out trending longs who bought at 65.90. Stopped them out last night down to 165.53. Are we going to get a turn bar here? I don't know. It looks like one now, but we still have uh, another 15 hours in this day so it's too early to call but Euro Aussie uh, looks cheap here we'll have to see as far as uh, ES is concerned it just followed the NASDAQ yesterday I don't know what's going on with ES um, just kinda sitting here at 3450 not doing much sort of dancing around at the top of this range after a little bit of a bearish run um, 3400 is important. Tough to trade, I have to say. Uh, all this news, stimulus on, stimulus off, Brexit on, Brexit off. Like news bomb after news bomb after news bomb. Uh, you get a lot of these bars, right? This one here. Bang. 3406. What? Close at 23. Break up through 38. Go to 60. See a lot of these bars, tops. You see these tails, topped and tailed. Um, this is a news-driven market, and you see these bars when it is news-driven. So, if you're a news junkie and you love watching headlines, and you're quick and you have speed and you're trading, this is the market for you. Finally, dollars are tricky, right? Went back to forty. But the, the shorts are still intact. I mean, they didn't really take any pain. Uh, and here we are at 22. Now you're below the pennant. Are we going to test this uh, 1608? Sure looks like it. No idea what it's doing here because the big dollar turned. But dollar EM is staying offered. Dollar MEX as well, staying offered. Looked at one point we were going to bullish engulf. But then we bearish engulfed. Crazy. Dollar Max looks really offered on a day like yeah, yesterday. Like 
I was pretty bullish up there at 2120. Stocks are getting crushed. Look like we're at the bottom of the range. Um, but then bang, bearish engulfed at the lows. Can't really get bullish this until we clear 21, sort of 22. So maybe 2130. Um, you can start getting constructive about this until then. Uh, bears are in control. Anyway, we're watching these PMIs today. Euro yen looks like it's going to be left hand side today. Uh, we'll see if there's more euro pain out there. Um, you got to wonder if people are I've drawn this trend line. One twenty three twenty. Anyway, we're keeping an eye on your yen left hand side, watching the PMIs. As far as um, US data, let's see. Not really anything. We've got manufacturing and services, PMIs. Really, it's just European data. We've got German and French PMIs, uh, UK retail sales. Um, and then no real U.S. data. We'll just be watching the stock market and watching the politicians squawk and yak. Here's Cable. Again, another news-driven uh, monkey pair. Back down to 130.60 after trading up to 131.80 on the renewed Brexit talks. Um, pretty hard to trade Cable these days. If you are trading it, uh, all I can say is good luck. God bless and you're probably clinically insane anyway that's all i got today uh good good trading out there people i will talk to you on monday see you